Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing five tips on how to finish your painting, especially when you're creating it for a client. So for my first tip, I would suggest once you finish your painting, paint the sides of your canvas so that way it gives it a nice finished look. There are a couple ways that you can do this. You can paint the sides of your canvas all black or you can paint it with the same color of your actual painting which is what I personally like to do. So whenever I'm done a painting, I paint all the rims of my canvas with the same color of my, my painting. So for instance here. We have like the coronavirus cells and the background is teal so I carried over the teal onto the sides of the canvas and here we have a flood and there is um, water so I carried over the water onto the side of the canvas and here we have a native woman I carried over her hair and the part of her shirt that's shown onto the side of the canvas and the same goes for the bottom so in the bottom here you'll see like the skin tone of his arm of Dr. Martin Luther King's arm and his his suit so just carry over onto the edge of your canvas and you can also just paint it black if you prefer Don't you tell me. And for tip number two, so for tip number two, I like to varnish my canvas. So once you're done your painting and you've painted the sides, I would suggest to, to varnish your canvas. There are a couple different varnishes that you can use. You can use spray-on varnish or you can use pour-on varnish where you brush it on um, with a brush. I personally have just used spray-on varnish thus far. My favorite spray-on varnish for my paintings thus far is the Krylon varnish simply because it has a higher gloss. For this particular painting, I use a Windsor Newton Professional Artist varnish, retouching varnish, retouching varnish, and I noticed that it doesn't have as high of a gloss as the Krylon varnish. Whenever I watch videos on how to varnish a canvas or I see anybody varnish a canvas on like Instagram or whatever, I notice that the pour on varnishes, the one that you brush on, uh, they seem to have a higher gloss. So one day I will play around and try out different varnishes. I haven't done so thus far because I don't want to ruin my paintings whenever they're going out for clients. And certain varnishes can make your painting a bit yellow. So just be mindful of that, especially if you're working with oil. Certain Damar varnishes, spelled D-A-M-M-A-R, um, they may yellow your painting. So just read the label before you use it. And I will do a video just trying out different varnishes even just for myself. I'll try out different varnishes one day on some paintings that aren't going out to clients and see what type of varnish I like thus far. But yeah, so tip number two is just to varnish your canvas, either using a spray varnish or a varnish that you brush on. And yeah. And then you want to go in both directions and start off from off of the canvas. So for tip number three, I would suggest to wire the back of your canvas so this way your customer doesn't have to do it. It can be, mm, it's not necessarily a hassle for customers to do it, but it's a nice finishing touch, which is what this video is all about. Um, just to uh, attach the wire so when they receive your painting, they literally can just hang it on your, hang it on their wall. So I like to buy D-ring. D rings and a hundred pound wire. So I attach my D rings with um, a drill with screws and I add a little bit of construction glue so it really secures it and ensures that it won't fall off the wall at any point in time. And I like to, like to use a hundred pound wire simply because it just guarantees that the wire won't break and cause the painting to fall off the wall, which is not 
cool for a client whatsoever. So yeah, just attach a wire to the back of your canvas. It, it will really help out the customer and I know that they truly appreciate it and it's something very simple and cheap that you can do that adds value to your canvas. So this is the package. Okay. <laughs> this is the package here. Do the other side. See where it goes. Which side is now flat? So first, I'm gonna first I'm gonna see which side is more flat. First, I'm gonna see which side is more flat. Once I have that established, I will take a little bit of glue and attach it. So just. I'm attaching this here. Okay. Once that is in, I will take a drill. Attach.
So I just attach the wire here. So for number four, number four is sign your painting. So this is something that I always kind of forget to do or don't like doing. And I've been told by a curator from Tate and Modern, um, Tate Modern, that I need to do it for my artwork. And um, yeah, they told me that they want to see my signature. So I would suggest to either sign the front or the back of your canvas because I usually like to have my painting stand for itself and speak for itself. And I don't want my signature to kind of interrupt the image. I sign my my signature at the back so you can sign it at the front if you like or at the back some artists do either well all artists do either <laughs> but yeah you get what I'm saying so sign either at the front or the back depending on what you want your painting to look like if you don't want it to interrupt your image like me just sign it at the back if it kind of adds value to the image at the front then add it to the front And um, I feel like I should put some hearts. Yeah. <laughs> and for tip number five. I would suggest to package your painting and um, you know you can add your own personal touch to it so currently I don't have a video on how I package my paintings and this particular painting is going to be used for unveils so I won't be packaging it we'll just be putting a cover on it and then we'll be taking the cover off when we unveil it so much and um, yeah I, I really do think that this um, this painting uh, you know s symbolizes you know where where we are in this journey. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess without further ado, the unveiling. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Need some help, or you can unveil it again. Yes, please, and thank you. All right, you're in charge. Some of it's good. All right, so we're just gonna lift from the top here. Okay. And then we'll go. Wow. So I'll make another video on how I package my artwork and in the meantime I'll also link a video of how to package your artwork in the description box below. This particular video is the one that I, I initially watched when learning how to package my artwork so it is very helpful and I would suggest to add your own personal touch and twist to it. I like to add a signature bow to my artwork, a signature black bow specifically. And I also like to just add a personal note. So you can choose to do either. Just make sure it kind of, you know, adds your personality to your painting. And these are my five tips on how to finish your painting, especially when they're going out to a client. I hope that this, these tips were helpful. And if you want to see any videos on how to do any of these specifically, just let me know. Or if there's anything that you want to see from me specifically regarding art, just let me know and I will make a video on it. In the meantime, I love you guys. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. God bless, namaste, and peace on to you. And thank you for watching.